Hello, hello. That might have been a little loud, sorry. Uh, it is 3 a.m. and we are going to play some more Rebuild. Yay! When we left off, we had just left the town of Trail. Uh, and let's just push on. Uh, okay. Okay, so we have two towns to pick from. Oh god! I don't remember what the description of the two towns it gave me were. I know one of them was supposed to be like a tech town, but I forget the other one. I don't remember which one was the tech town anyway. Hang on, I'm gonna adjust my mic stand slightly. Ha. Huh. Uh... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go, cause consent is important. <laughs> We're going with Nelson. Nelson, Canada's hippie hide- Oh, I picked the tech town. Oh, did I? Canada's hippie hide- uh, it out. A town of artists and organic herb farmers. Both the legal and the illegal kinds. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the weird communities here have managed to fortify their farms and live through the outbreak. Hope they make good neighbors. What plants are illegal in Canada? Cause like, weed is legal there. What? Hmm. Hold on real quick, I'm just gonna... Prop it up so... I'm sat in a slightly different position and my arm's a little uncomfortable, so I'm just... There we go. That still doesn't feel right, hold on. That feels better. Um, let's... See, so yeah, we're gonna leave it on difficulty three. Actually, god, we're going in with one, two, three, four, five, six people. Can I save right now? Oops. I believe I have a save right before I left the last location, so fuck it. We're gonna bump up difficulty to hard. Let's let's see how that goes. <sighs> to Nelson. Okay. Ooh, oh, we're immediately at a map edge with the beach. That's we're gonna want to anchor on that for like immediately. Um. So. I'm gonna go and try and recruit this person. You guys kill the zombies here. You s hey, actually, we all just gotta make sure that we're keeping our borders as clean as we can. Okay. Uh, I like to do the turn-based speed, there we go. Next day. This recruitment scene, or this recruit, <laughs> this recruit seems to think she's something special, like something of an expert scavenger. She says we're lucky we caught her now before someone else snapped her up. She says she won't come cheap though, and uh, that we sh should offer some extra something extra if she joins us. We're gonna sweet talk her. I flattered her, admiring her skills and her uh, strong sense of duty. She does have a strong sense of duty, right? Of course she does. And someone so skilled and with such an upstand with such upstanding morals would surely want to help other people out of the goodness of her heart, wouldn't she? Somehow this actually worked, and she's excited to join us with no extra compensation. Sweet. Okay. Ah, expert scavenger. She's not as good as the one we brought with us. Oh god, wait a second. Doesn't David have a kid? No. Did we bring anyone with a kid? Dave, Dave has a kid. Well, sorry Dave, you're gonna need to help fight zombies right now because we don't- we're a little strapped for people. Um... Go scout over here, and I'm gonna kill the zombies here. See, I think we want to immediately anchor our fort down against there. You reclaim this. Um, 
You two quickly scavenge over here. Uh, and you two kill the zombies here. Alright. I can kill that horde myself, so I'm gonna do that. Oh god, a second horde already. We found a cowboy hat. Uh, I mean, I don't no, no one needs a cowboy hat right now. What we need is defense. There we go. Okay. Oh, we never scouted down there. Are you good to... Yeah, you can sacrifice one person to scout. Good, good, good. That horde's gone. Let me go kill that horde. Alright. Start reclaiming that. Scout here. Kill the Zed there. Um, scavenge for more resources because we can really use them. Holy shit, our food's going down so fast. Oh my god. We need to start getting re these farms reclaimed fast. Okay. Or I guess you could say we need to get these farms rebuilt. Three. <laughs> Thank you. I am a comedian. Actually, hold on. Speaking of which, where do I have the? Let me move where the alert box and chat box are for people. Sorry. I want these set in sort of different places depending on the game I'm playing. Alright. Um, fuck. So now I'll fight these ones. Guys, kill what's there so we can try and reclaim it. You guys go scavenge here. Uh, you go kill these. Or just... Okay. Reclaim that farm. Ooh. We found a woman not far from our gates, where she'd been hiding out from the zombies for days. We suggested our fort might be a bit safer than the garbage bin she was crouched inside of when we found her. She seems skeptical. Invite her to stay. Foxy Greens is going to put up her feet and stay a while. And why not? We humans have to stick together in these days. We're social creatures. It's what, uh, it's what we're designed to do. Join the other scavengers. I'm going to start reclaiming this farm right now. You scout here. You kill those. We're not going to claim that church because there's never going to be threats in the church, so it's a good buffer zone. Gustav, we're going to kill him eventually. Because he has 14-year-old prostitutes that he forces into labor. Um... We found a dog named King. Who wants King? I feel like giving it to one of our scavengers would be good. There you go. You got King now. Alright. Um. Okay, so we're going to claim this farm. Uh, you go scout here. Let's send out our p other people to scout around a little more. Alright. Oh no, you're, not, you're supposed to be killing zombies, not recruiting. Okay, there we go. More food spotted. Scavengers assemble! Keep us fr <laughs> off the brink of starving. Okay. Oh, do we want to reclaim the big farm? How much? We can just farm to produce the food. 
Yeah, because I don't want to reclaim that big farm yet, necessarily. Like, now, now that the food is sorted out, we can plan our expansion a little more. Um, so we want to focus on places that, as I put it, reduce our, fo our wall length. Meaning that, you know, it doesn't... Uh, anything we can do that doesn't increase the amount of zombies we're fighting to keep our walls safe is good. So, like, this suburb will be good. This field will be good. Because we'll expand out and then it will still just be one wall. And same goes for this because the church is a safe zone. This one then will, would create two walls. This would only create one wall because it's right next to the... The big farm that we already have has a place we need to handle. So, you go reclaim this. You go kill these. Yeah, you guys work the farm. Can I turn this into a farm? Yes, I can. Farms are better than fields. Alright. So, let's start moving forward. Uh, volunteer guards are enough. That uh, we've read this before. It's or is it? Do we make everyone do mandatory guard duty? We're skilled enough that volunteer guard night guards are enough. We got a good starting population thanks to coming here by the plane. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Carlos got careless and forgot the knock test. Always knock on a door first and listen for movement on the other side before turning the knob. Zed poured out uh, out when he opened it. <clears throat> Excuse me. A panic chase, a wrong turn down a hallway, a locked door in the stairwell, and he found himself on the roof with two choices. Leap off and hope something breaks his fall, or fight the zombies barehanded. Jump, my dude. Yeah, it's better than getting bit. Something did it did break Carlos's fall. His legs. Oh, yeah. I think we got this during the last city. All right. Um. So he's got to recover a little. I'm gonna go kill Gustav. Cause fuck Gustav. Uh, you guys fight the zombies. Oh, we never scouted that area, actually. Go scout that real fast. Attack failed. Fuck. That's their open- their strength went down, right? Not ours. I'm just single-handedly trying to fuck up Gustav. I'll just keep hammering away, Gustav. I ain't having you in my city. Speaking of which, what is his, uh... Strength level? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of whittling away. Oh, there's a few factions in this city. Alright, um... Go reclaim this field. I'm gonna keep attacking Gustav. You all just focus on keeping the uh, zombies away. Can you all go? Yeah, you guys leave the farm for the time being and finish off the zombies over there to keep our walls safe. Um, conserve ammo when possible. That's our ammo rule. There we go. I've killed Gustav. I have not. I've just killed one representative of Gustav, it looks like. Okay. Who knows if more will show up. Uh. Alright. I'm gonna go here. You all can actually get back to farming now. Um. Okay, we, we've got a fantastic start here, I'd say. You go help him finish that. Alright, our next expansion is going to be these suburbs here. Because that's no expansion to the footprint doing that. This would give us an expansion of two locations. That would give three. 
This would give one, two, three new footprint. This would give two new. This would give two new. I think this suburb here is probably going to be our next expansion position. Alright. Next day. Ooh, we got a horde. But I can take care of it myself because I'm a big, strong badass who's been through several cities. What is my actual strength level? 15. <sighs> of course, that's with my weapons equipped. Uh, Alright. I think we're off to a good start here in Nelson. Like, I think we're... It, even with me raising the difficulty, I think we are totally fine here in Nelson. Uh, I'm gonna go and start cleaning out up here, since we're gonna be expanding toward that in a moment. And you two handle... Ooh, eight zombies. Can you take a farmer with you? Yeah. Okay, next day... Uh, we'll greet new people with open arms. They need to prove to be bad before we do anything to them. Like Gustav, the child dealer. Let's reclaim that. And I think uh, we're going to be in a position for me to start recruiting some of the people surrounding us. Uh, what do we want to claim next? This will give us what? Okay, we're reclaiming this next. You step away to scout real fast. Alright. Oh, we found berries in the wild. Let's research them. Uh, she'd seen some... Adela uh, <clears throat> Adelaide, our best engineer, thought she'd seen some of them on a book of local species once. Sure enough, she managed to find a reference. These blueberries are poisonous. Throw them out. Um, so I'm going to start trying to recruit a little bit. In the meantime, you guys go over here and build another farm. Let's think about what our next expansion tile would be. Which I'm thinking it's probably, yeah, just going to be this thing. This little farm here. Because, again, creating has little new walls. That's not actually going to make any new walls. It's going to push our pre-existing wall position a little bit. If that makes any sense. Uh, a generic dude who's willing to be anything. We could use more soldiers, honestly. A horde, I'll go take care of that. You clean out over here. You go over here. And you back her up. Okay. I'm gonna go recruit another person now. Uh, boop. Oh god, we never scouted that area up there. And we're planning on expanding in that direction, so we should. Uh, we've never eaten people. Both you come aboard. Okay, another fi or, or another fighter. And here, you want a, a cowboy hat? We got a cowboy hat. Okay. Let's oop. go and recruit up here. What is that? Oh, it's a mega mall. Um, I'm thinking about where our next expansion is going to be after we're uh, done with the other one we're doing. Let's see, if I expanded here, that would just be one new thing as well. So that might be, I think it might be that farm right there. Because that would create the least, um, yeah, hang on. 
This one here could be good too, that suburb. We'll see how things are looking. Uh, talk down the guy with the rifle. We've seen this plenty of times. And we've got this boy on board. Um, you go scout here. I'm going to recruit this fella now. And while you guys are waiting, go and kill the zombies over here. Let me just... Turning down the volume a little on my end. Two people who are here, one of them is sick. We'll take both. Okay. Let's reclaim this right here. I'm gonna kill those. You go after what's here. We're getting lots of engineers now, but we don't have an engineering building yet, sadly. Uh, let's try and fan out and search some areas. There is a, a research building here, but I don't want a beeline for it, because I want to make sure we keep a nice, safe wall shape. Uh, we just spotted a transport helicopter flying above Nelson's skyline like some sort of camo-colored angel coming to lift us out of this nightmare. And then it sputtered, spiraled, and came down crashing to Earth, just like all of our dreams. It demolished the laboratory it landed on. Fuck! But there might be something to salvage from the crash site, maybe even survivors, and definitely zombies attracted by the noise. Not sure if we should had scavengers, a leader, or a soldier, or all three. Well, there goes that lab I was just like, I, putting my eye on. Um. Alright. You go do your jobs defending over here. You guys can all scout some more. Uh, oh, I almost forgot to have you scout. I'll go investigate this. <laughs> so many things to X out. Hmm. Huh. So. This would give us three new... Hang on, let's go through the options. This currently is a zero border situation, so expanding would actually give us one. Taking this would give us two new borders. Pushing out here would give us three new. This would turn into two new ones. This would turn into three new ones. This would be no new border, so it's probably that suburb, I think. Yeah, let's reclaim that little suburb there. Um... So that means you guys should go clean out this. Ooh! Another area we can start anchoring ourselves against. Fantastic. Anchor points are a fantastic thing to have. The, the walls, I mean. Like, anchoring against the walls protects better. The oceans, I think, are the best, because I haven't played a lot on maps with oceans, because I, I never got far in the story when I played this on my own. But I don't think zombie hordes can come from the ocean, which means they're going to be very good to have as a border. That mall is, of course, chock full of Zed. All, right, all of you clump up. Uh, you're all going to help protect the border. Okay. Um... You go scout here. Okay. Uh, let's search for scavenge. Uh, 
Wait, have we gotten this in a previous playthrough? I know I've gotten this a million times in my private time. But we and we heard the sounds of moans from the helicopter. We searched for salvage first, and then... Uh, I jumped to it quickly, rummaging through the wreckage for anything useful. Most of what they transported must have been fuel, now all burned up in the explosion. But I also found a couple of crates of medical supplies, including a fully stocked med kit. Hmm. The injured survivor might need that. Uh, uh, might need that. He's graduated from crawling and moaning to yelling at us to stop scavenging like vultures and get over to help him. Let's patch him up. The man's legs were crushed by the wreckage, but once we got him out of there uh, he stopped, and stopped the bleeding, he didn't look so bad. Just very, very painful. Barely holding on to consciousness, the man, Pe the man Peter, begged, to be begged us to take him with us. We agreed. I can read, I assure you. Sorry, sometimes I will look to the right to the chat and I'm not sure how you guys, if how audible that sound change is. Because right now I'm looking straight at my monitor and my, my mic is just sitting like right to the left of my face. Like barely not blocking my peripheral. Uh, meanwhile, if I turn this way, I'm not looking at chat. To see if anybody's been saying anything, which... I mean, it's 3 a.m. I'm not expecting an active chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do we want to expand to next? Two new borders, but cutting us closer to the anchor point. Two new. Three new. Three new. Two new. Three new. Okay. And one new. We're gonna go ahead and start trying to push this way a little. Which of course means we're gonna need to send our soldiers out to combat some threats. I'll help with this one. All of you go and protect some more of the surrounding region. You scout out over here. Okay. Ah, fire. What a destroy. A farm. Oh, hang on. We managed to evacuate everyone. See. Oh, no. What, what was here? Was it a farm? It was a farm. Oh, well. Okay. Let's get together our non fighters. So this guy's our only official fighter. Ooh, that gas co power plant is going to be something very worth expanding toward. Ooh, and the water plant. Let's try and scout out a little bit in those directions. Boop, I want to X these things out. Uh, pull together our soldiers. Pull. Oops, those are the builders. I want to keep the builders in their own stack. Okay. We're safe on all angles, pretty much. Um, now we're going to reclaim this. Alright. How many? Okay, it only takes that many to protect that. So now we're going to... Scout a little further. Alright, we're getting a good bearing on our little corner of Nelson. Ooh! The Delilahs. Or Dala Dahlias? The Dahlias. I almost brought... I almost brought the farm today, but a couple of Z a couple of Z had me cornered. Man, I almost bought the farm today. A couple of Z had me cornered in an alley, and I was trying to remember the words to to hail Mary. Uh, when suddenly a zombie's head exploded. Boom, boom. Scared me more than my imminent death had. I was still shaking when it, 
when this group came out of the ruined building nearby, led by a woman in it with a smoking rifle. They were part of a group called the Dahlias, uh, who live nearby. I'm not sure if there's some military group or what, but they seem pretty comfortable with those guns, and we'll probably be seeing more of them soon. Alright. And you know what? I think that's a perfect breaking moment. So for YouTube, if you want to see what happens going forward from here, hold on. Uh, yeah, if you want to see more on YouTube, come back next week. For those of you on Twitch, I'm just going to step away and get some water real fast. Uh, if you've been enjoying the series, give it a like. If you've enjoyed it, or on YouTube, I mean, yeah, here on Twitch, I can see the people who are here. I can hear what people like. Uh, but a lot of what I used to judge what I'm going to do is what gets more likes and views over on YouTube. So, if you're enjoying a series, give it likes, give it watches, and it'll likely continue. Uh, sorry, 3 a.m., little tired. Additionally, you can follow me on Tumblr and send messages directly to me. I always try and read Tumblr, and I try and read comments on YouTube, and I try and read the chat. All these are fantastic ways to communicate with me of what you would love to see more of on my channel. Hell, even if you like, if you don't want a series to continue, send me messages and say, I don't want to see more of this. And I might stop a series that's been running. Or at least, maybe, if not stop it, take a series that's on a, a assigned slot such as Rebuild and move it to the sporadic streaming and put something else in the continual slot. Like the weekly scheduled slot. And by the way, um... For those who might be wondering what's up with Externia University, because you might have noticed it's on on YouTube, you've probably noticed it hasn't been active lately. Uh, on Twitch, you've probably noticed it hasn't been active lately, and it will not be active for a little longer. It's been a lot of scheduling conflicts that I've been trying to sort out. Uh, but that's sort of why I'm trying to like work, look into getting a second series going with a different cast. That way, I can hopefully schedule that more often. But either way, I hope you've all enjoyed this. We'll be back shortly and ta-ta.